Hello, I'm Richard Lilford, and I lead the NIHR Wright team on leprosy ulcers. Leprosy is a neglected tropical disease which can have devastating consequences for people. But our study has implications that go way beyond leprosy alone, as I shall now describe. We are doing two main types of studies. One on community action to improve the lives of people affected by leprosy. And the other is a clinical trial. And I'll start by describing that trial. You might remember as a child growing, growing, grazing your knee and forming a scab. And when the scab came off a few days later, bingo, the skin underneath was miraculously healed. Maybe substances in the scab were promoting healing. We plan to test this idea in people affected by leprosy ulcers using the patient's blood. My colleagues at Amanda Van Hospital in Kathmandu will make a kind of artificial scab. They will then use this to dress the ulcer. And we'll evaluate this treatment, which has been widely used, but never properly evaluated. And if it works, it will have implications not just for leprosy, but for more common diseases where ulcers are caused by nerve damage most especially diabetes. Now our community action is addressing the social context of people affected by leprosy. Leprosy missions and governments around the world intervene with self-care to promote uh, ulcer healing and self-help to promote social integration and economic advancement. We're evaluating such government and NGO-sponsored community interventions in Nepal, India and Nigeria. We are carrying out prospective evaluations of new interventions and retrospective evaluations into the sustainability of interventions. And we are measuring social integration and economic progress, as well as health and well-being outcomes. These unique study types will have, have, have impact firstly on leprosy and then more broadly on other marginalized conditions. I'm lucky to work with wonderful teams at home and abroad. Thank you very much indeed.